in this video, you will see how to map an image, geolocated or not, on a terrain or surface with the CIENC and PHM roles and the terrain preparation application. First, to have the image in a context, I will show you how to import OpenStreetMap data. In OpenStreetMap.org, you can zoom in your project area. You can go to the Export tab and manually select a different area. This will create a rectangle showing the area to be exported that you can resize. Once ready, you can click on Export and save the OSM file on your desktop. OSM files are geolocated, so you need to define the location of your project first. See Geolocation tutorial for more information. My project has been geolocated and I can check it using the right-click menu and open in web map. I can go to the Civil Engineering 3D Design app in the Tool tab and click on Open OSM Map. I browse to the location of my file, select Import 3D Building and assign a default height when no 3D data is available. Data has been imported. If you want to see it in a 2D view mode, with the nose pointing toward the top of your screen, launch the geolocation command and click on the nose of the compass. I have now inserted, using the copy-paste, my OSM file into my work breakdown structure. I want to visualize a geolocated image as background to start my project. If I do not have a terrain yet, I can create a background surface. To do this, I create a sketch on XY plane and draw a big rectangle at the location where my geolocated image should be. I can then fill this rectangle using the XY plane as support to create a surface. Now, I can go to Terrain Preparation app to map my image on it. Under the Prepare tab, I click on Create Image Mapping. I select the terrain or surface where I want to map my image, and then I click on the browser to import my images. I have two GeoTIFFs, so I change the file extension to see them and pick the first one. The image will be saved as an engineering document in the platform for traceability purpose. The preview of my image is now displayed on the right side of my panel as the nothing listing of the top left and bottom right corners. They have been automatically filled from the GeoTIFF. If I click on Apply, Image is mapped on my surface and all the area around it is set to dark. You have the capability to decrease the quality of the image for better performances if you manage a lot of images. Transparent mode is to handle superposition of images. Using the same process, I will import the second image. Notice that it is automatically positioned at the right location. I do not like the dark surrounding, so I can easily resize my sketch to change the surface. Now, I can start my project with some interesting context. In the View tab, you have the capability to hide or show the image mapping. You will have to switch to Show Image every time you would reload your data. Now, let's say that I already have a 3D terrain. I can also map the image on it. Here is the large point cloud I imported and from which I extracted an area to create my terrain. See Import Large Point Cloud tutorial for more details about this. And now, this is my terrain I want to use to map an image. I go back to create image mapping and a warning is displayed. Only restriction here is to deactivate the optimized mode, which is used to enhance mesh visualization performance by using your graphic card. This preference is located under 3D modeling, multidiscipline engineering, terrain preparation. Now I can map my image and the warning has disappeared. Since I already saved the image in the platform, I can search for it instead of importing it a second time. 
and I can validate the creation of the image. Notice that the image has been cropped to perfectly fit the terrain. To show you some additional options, let's say I modify my terrain by creating a platform excavation. I pick my platform profile, select a typical cross section, and select the terrain to be modified. The original terrain is kept with its image, since it is the reference, and a modified terrain has been created. This one has no image mapped on it. However, I can still edit the image mapping stored under the original terrain and use the propagate function to propagate the image mapping to its children. I remove the common filling and excavation stretches that are not relevant there, and when I click on apply, the image is also mapped on the modified terrain. Now you might ask, how can I do if I do not have geotiffs for my project available? So I will show you there a little trick that I used on several projects. Even though we do not have a direct integration with Google Earth, I will show you how to map a screen grab on your project. I have here a geolocated terrain. I will copy paste the latitude and longitude of my project. Then I will use the coordinate converter that can convert any coordinates from one CRS to another. I can then pick the top left corner and convert it to WGS84 to get the rough latitude and longitude of this point. I will note it or take a screen grab. Then, same way, I will get the latitude and longitude of the bottom right corner. I can now open Google Earth and I will paste the latitude and longitude of my project so that I am automatically zoomed at the right location. I switch to 2D mode and using the mouse latitude and longitude displayed at the bottom, I will fit my screen so that it contains the two extremities of my terrain that I noted before. Make sure Google Earth is oriented toward the north. Usually I take three screen grabs. First, on full screen, to visualize the coordinates of my top left corner. Then, without moving my mouse, I take a second screen grab starting at that location till an estimate of the bottom right point. When I validate, I still do not move my mouse and take a third screen grab to save the coordinates of that point. I save my second screen grab as a JPEG. This will be the image to be mapped. Then I use the latitude and longitude saved in the two other pictures to create two geolocated points. By default, I am requested to input northing and easting values, but if I click on the globe, it activates the latitude and longitude mode where I will input the coordinates from Google Earth. Conversion to my CRS, northing and easting, is automatically calculated. I can then go to Terrain Application and Image Mapping command. I select the terrain, browse for my saved screen grab, and I will click on upper left button and select the geolocated point I want to use there. And I do the same for the lower right. Thus, extremities of my pictures are properly set and I can click on apply to map my image. This approach can of course be used if you start a project without a terrain or a geotiff. You can create a field surface on XY, as we have seen at the beginning of this video, and map a screen grab from Google Earth on it.